Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Duck Country 3. Uh, last time when we left off, we were in the middle of Fish Food Frenzy, um, and I am doing the bonus level. Uh, we we're almost really, cl we're really close to the end. Um, again, YouTube's time limit screwed me up, so I apologize for uh, you know cutting the level short. But I, it, otherwise, it would have just been a seven-minute-long video, and it actually would have screwed me up for uh, uh, the next video because I would have had to show this, and I wouldn't have enough time for nearly as much as I. Um, I'm gonna get through like a good portion of the next level, Mechanos. Um, but first, let's finish this level. I uh, got the bonus token. Um, and yes, those guys are called Lurchins. I did uh, check just to make sure. So yeah, that's the only um, time you'll find that. That level can usually be a pain, but it's not too bad if you know what you're doing. Um, just again, try and avoid all the Lurchins and eat all of the Cocos or co 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 yeah Cocos. Um, that is a weird name for a fish. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. The fishy cereal. That, no, no. Um, so, um, now these rocks will disappear, and we can go face our boss, who is Squirt. Um, now, this is unique, as in this, in this boss, you do not face them as Dixie and uh, Kitty. You face it, uh, the boss, which is E.T.'s mutated cousin f from the future, um, uh, as Ellie, the elephant. Now, this is the... S Second, second time uh, that uh, you face the, a boss as a boss, or as a boss, you face the boss as an animal buddy. Um, the first being uh, as Squawks uh, in the uh, King Zing battle in DKC2, and in this game, um, you face uh, there's two animal buddy battles. The first being Ellie. Uh, this battle again isn't that bad. In the Game Boy Advance remake, uh, it's a lot worse because um, at one point uh, Squirt will have two streams. Um, of water being op like opposite of each other, so like you see how there's one. Imagine another one on the other side uh, of that. Um, so basically, just hit each of his eyes twice, and that's it. It's it's not that hard of a battle if you're, again, uh, well, again, most of the things with this game is if you're good at it, it's not that hard. But um, even so, I don't think it's that hard of a boss battle. Uh, there are harder ones than this in the game. Yeah, I, I kind of got lucky there. I thought I might have actually fallen. Um, so, uh, things to talk about. Well, um, I got a, uh, uh, prior message from, uh, Pawn the Great, um, again. And I, I do appreciate when people give me, I don't want, like, a flood of them. I do appreciate the occasional rant ideas, because I do run out of, um, topics sometimes. I are going to Mechanos. Um... And uh, his thing was about um, genres, game genres, and how, um, you know, nowadays, back in the day, you know, genres were, you know, Mario, platformer. You know, it's quite clear there was a platformer. And nowadays, genres are getting, you know, games are getting more, uh, have more elements than just one. Like, um, SPM is an RPG platformer, and not just an R. I mean, the thing with, like, you know, Super Mario RPGs, they're RPGs with platformer elements, but uh, when you take a platformer and add RPG elements, it's much more different than, you know, like, with the, you know, RPGs having platforming elements. But anyway, um, the point is, uh, um, games nowadays are getting much more uh, they're not, they don't have straight genres, there's, there's much more mix in the genres, they're first person shooters with, you know, maybe platforming elements, stuff like that, there's not any straight genres, um, real quick though, we have these, uh, carbines, I think they're called carbines, uh, they're owls, um, that, uh, will shoot fireballs at you, and you have to dodge them, and this is, a uh, factory level, of course, um, Mechanos, uh, being the factory world, um, so yeah, we'll be having a lot of these factory style levels, uh, I do like the music that plays here. Not one of my favorite songs of the game, but it's, you know, it's a nice song. Uh, so yeah, the whole thing was genres are, you know, and should we be keep uh, putting things in genres uh, because it, it stops people from, you know, examining the game. It, it, you know, it, it, it makes you, you know, it, it can find, people are like, you know, this is a genre. It keeps, you know, it, it, again, it kind of goes on what I was talking about with whole people having kind of a, uh, uh, you know, a catch, you know, type thing. People like classifying things. That's that's something I was, we were actually talking about um, in my film class uh, that I took this semester. And yeah, I'm going to die here because um, I missed that jump. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's something we were talking about in film class about how... Um, uh, genres are, you know, a lot of people, they like genres because they like, it's something they expect. 
they like you know western genre they go to a western movie and they like it and one um one of the examples that he gave was a lot of people didn't like and you know again you can say whatever you want but a lot of people didn't like um uh uh, Brokeback Mountain because it it wasn't the uh, it, it it broke their expectations, um, you know because uh, you know they were expecting a western movie and a lot of people who did a lot of people who didn't know what it was about you know would go into it and they would be shocked because it wasn't it broke their expectations they were expecting it to follow the genre and it didn't. Uh, now and the same thing there are people who like that because they like to have their expectations blown. So um, in terms of movies. Uh, you know, genres are applied because it helps people know what they, what they expect. They like, they like, people like knowing what, people don't like a lot of surprises for the most part. This is again the general statement. Um, now, when it comes to games, uh, you have, um, damn it, kitty, you died. Um, when it comes to games, you have a whole thing with, um, uh, genres are used, you know, again, you know, you can't just say, Genres again are used used to help people, you know, in, in buying and knowing what kind of game. Like you give a genre label to, you know, a shooter game. If someone doesn't like shooter games, like I'm not a big fan of shooter games, uh, you know, that you let them know that this is a shooter game, you may not like it. Now, at the same time, that classification does indeed uh, make it, you know, it, it also, if the game was purely a shooter. Then yeah, but now because again because uh, games are slowly um, not un unlike movies, um, games are slowly mixing genres much more. Um, the whole thing with like Brokeback Mountain really doesn't apply to games. Uh, the whole thing with games is uh, games are um, not really trying to break people's expectations, but they they mix genres more. There's much more mixing of genres. Um, so by keeping the genre label uh, as the main, like usually when, uh, if a game's mainly the main genre that it has is a shooter, well usually you call it a shooter game. Um, and by keeping that main genre, of course, uh, you have, um, uh, you know, people say, oh, it's a shooter, I'm not gonna get this. You, 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 you know, you, you're, you're almost kind of misleading people because, uh, so yeah, I do agree that genres probably need a bit of an overhaul and but the thing is, people like genres. You know, it's 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 something that I can agree doing away with wouldn't be a horrible thing, to an extent, um, because uh, you know the labelings can be misleading. But people like them, and they're probably not going to go anywhere because of the fact that people like to know what to expect, even if it's not a hundred percent true. They like the general idea because they don't like a lot of people don't like the unexpected. That's not the case for everyone, but. Uh, as a general, um, a general rule, the general public likes uh, to know what they're basically getting into. Here we have Bazooka Bear. Morning, Kong's Brigadier Bazooka here. All present and correct. Ah, correct. I see. Correct. Cor uh, he's a. I don't think he's a town for. I think he's a correct. All present and correct. How? I don't know what that means. Anyway, he has a cannon named Big Bessie. Um, I probably misread that anyway, but that didn't make any sense. Uh, so, uh, she needs ammo. Um, so, uh, you know how there's a banana bird in every level? Well, we can't get to that yet. We'll need, uh, Big Bessie, um, and, but we don't have any ammo, so we have to come back later. Uh, and now we have, um, uh, drain pipe, d demolition drain pipe. Um, this can be quite hard. Um, I've gotten quite good at it. I actually did a perfect run on this. Um, the thing with this level is, uh, you're in a toboggan in a drain pipe, and you are constantly moving, so you have to... Um, you know, have good timing and get the bonus barrels and everything. And and with levels like this that are constantly moving, I got a coin will appear at the end. So don't worry about him just, you know, like running past you on, uh, you know, jet ski or something. No, don't worry about that. Or not jet ski, like rocket pack. I don't know. But um, don't worry about that because he he'll be at the end level. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, with genres, yeah, I agree. Mixing of genres, it, because of the games are becoming more mixed, they're, uh, I mean, you know, it's not really fair to say this, you know, sometimes it does apply, but, you know, it's not really fair to, uh, um, label games as a genre because it, it does mislead people. I mean, I know I, for one, I'm not a big fan of shooters, and if I see that a game is a shooter, I'm hesitant to even attempt to buy it because of that. Uh, what could we do, possibly? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, usually, I guess the th main thing would be just be more educated, look into the game, and don't just assume uh, based on one uh, on the genre. However, again, people like genres. People like to know what to expect, and 
uh, they they want it to be simple. They want they you know they can look into it and find exactly what to expect, but they want a simple way and labels. You know, archetypes. You know, archetype is a good way. Like with you know archetypal characters, they like those kind of characters because they, uh, for the most part, the general public doesn't like uh, you know uh, surprises. I don't 100% agree. I like shock. I like having something that uh, is is something totally expected or unexpected. Um, but a lot of people don't agree with that, and that's why we have genres. And they're probably not going to go anywhere anytime soon. But this has been Mega 400, reminding you that Kitty is a monkey.